There are only three Mondays left until the Nintendo Switch launches, and yet we are still in the dark about a couple of key features. Kotaku posted an article today describing the discrepancy in this launch and the recent launches from Nintendo themselves, as well as Sony and Microsoft, and myself, Zach, and Gabe are here to talk about it today. So... This centers around mostly online virtual console interface, but what do you think about Nintendo kind of keeping things under wraps with only three and a half weeks to go? The logical side of me would say like, hey, Nintendo, there's a direct coming, right? And Nintendo yeah. and then and Nintendo in return would say, Absolutely, there's a direct coming. It's next week. We're gonna tell you more about, about the console itself, how virtual consoles are gonna work, we're gonna show you the interface, things like that. We don't have anything of the sort. So I'm just confused. Yeah, and I think it's interesting. Um, you know, the pattern you saw, they, they went back. Kotaku did a nice job of analyzing the Wii U, PS4, and Xbox One um, launches. And basically, uh, it was about a five- to six-month lead-up when you had a majority of the information. So the Wii U, you had most of the feature info five months prior. The PS4 was all at E3. Um by September of the PS4 launch year, you knew that they were going to make the PS3 li library uh, available via Gaikai streaming. That sort of all got crazy. But at that point, you knew everything uh, five months and then the final details two months. Uh, Microsoft with the Xbox One, you knew everything at E3 of June. In June, uh, you know, a five-month lead up to November 22nd launch. They didn't reveal their backwards compatibility plans uh, until much later. But again, that was a feature that came a year and a half after the console launched. So this one is odd, but I will say that in, in looking this all over, you notice a pattern, which is the E3 uh, information, you know, sort of deluge. There was no E3 for Switch. Yeah, right? but they but they had a, a, a hour-long presentation. They could have made, they it, did. A, they could have they made did. it a little bit longer and, like, told us some stuff. Like Absolutely, and I think that would have been incredibly beneficial for those covering and for those, you know, intrigued and interested about the system. But I do think that sort of their their handling of all this on their own may contribute to the lack of info. Um, and, and I do wonder, does it matter? You know, will will sales in any way be affected by people not knowing well, about no, virtual be, console, about no, online? No, because pre-orders are already sold out. And, right. and, like, and like, yeah, they, they're ramping up um, uh, manufacturing. They're trying to get more out there. So, you know, there will be more pre-orders, hopefully, be, before the console's out. Who knows about that? But... I don't think it's affecting them too much. And, you know, some of these things they get a pass for. Like, ultimately, you don't have to pay for online un until, I think, did they say the fall or sometime later in the year? Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not paying for it for the first, like, five months or something like that. So, you don't need to know the price right now. So, cool. Whatever. Let's give them a pass for that. But I, do like the, I do like the fact that, you know, they brought up in the article that there is confusion um, because you're, you're grabbing little, like, bytes of information from different sources. So this Nintendo rep says this, Reggie says this, this is on the website, and trying to piece together a story, whereas it would be much more convenient and, and give a clearer picture for them if they would just say it themselves. So I still firmly believe that we have a direct coming. And again, because this is them handling the launch without the assistance or without the platform of an E3, you know, they, they get to control the timing, they get to control the messaging, they get to control everything. So I think it only would behoove them to come at us with another direct, and, and they don't need to announce that until it's about to happen. That's strange, though. Like, why wouldn't you give people, like, notice? It's three weeks now, or more or less, until the Switch is out. Like, a lot of people didn't pre-order it because they don't know what's happening with Virtual Console. And, like, that's... As Kotaku points out, that's an important feature for Nintendo consoles. I mean, we, I, I think we know that it's there. We don't know if it's there at launch. We don't know exactly the structure. What, what, no, but they of have course. said that you know there's a, a, a NES and an SNES game or or either ne or coming yeah, each month. No, yeah, we understand that, but we we know no details about it. Right, and I think the the answer is what you said earlier, which is pre-orders are sold out. So, you know, I, again, I am personally of the belief that this is all cleared up before March third. But I even if it was not, I don't think it will be. You know, do you think there's any 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 chance that they would save some of these features? You know, like they're saying, online will uh, be fully fleshed out and paid in the fall. Do you think that they save some of this for an E3 reveal? That that they sort of have then a second wind of a second unveiling per se. I mean, I guess it's possible, but 
I don't know. I I just find like the lack of information to be like a little bit strange. And at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, none of this stuff really matters. We're all already excited for the console. Everybody that that was lucky enough to get the pre-order already got it. Like th- these things are right. selling. These things will be sold out like for the first like week or so, probably, or you know maybe more. Who knows? B- so they don't need to do any of this. But I think it's a good thing to just like let your fans know, like, hey, this is what's happening. This is how these things are going to work. And of course, they don't need to. They're already doing well, like business wise. They're sold out. Yeah. But why not do like a pro consumer move? And, and Nintendo knows that the reception of their Switch conference wasn't ideal for them they, people right. weren't purple people didn't come out of that like crazy excited they didn't a lot of people came out of it more skeptical so why not like give Clear people more air. yeah yeah like hey here's more information in whatever manner make it a press release if you don't want to like do a direct about it but just give people information and it's strange that they just kind of refuse to at least so far yeah i would imagine their difficulty lies in you know if we don't reveal it there could be skepticism. If we do reveal it, there could be criticism. What's the... the so just you know, don't talk about it? <laughs> right. So, <laughs> so well, you know, I mean, the hope would be, hey, it's all fine and going according to plan and good, so there's no worries here. Um, but if this was Microsoft or Sony, I would say, man, it, it must be bad because if it was good, they would want to get out there and say it. But again, Nintendo with their secrecy, with their control of messaging, with sort of their weird way of revealing things... Uh, their unique style of communication. Uh, to me, it's not crazy that we don't know. I personally think it would be like a great idea because Nintendo, the way that they're handling like matchmaking and everything with like a mobile app, like it's a different thing. And yes, you can tell us, but we don't know how this works. Like, so have a presentation where you have this app on a phone and show people how it works because it's it, it it's something that's new. So I feel like that's something that we should be able to see, you know, before we buy a console. But yeah, I guess I, Nintendo doesn't feel that way. And I guess, you know, they they announced the uh, initial Switch trailer very shortly before. Um, you know, the January event had a big lead up, but it needed to in order to invite people out and set things up. Typically, directs are announced without a whole lot of, of lead up. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes they have more lead up, obviously, like, oh, the E3 direct or things like that. But it's possible that, heck, later this week they say next Tuesday there's a direct clarifying and, and, you know, confirming many of the final launch features for the system. Yeah. And, you know, some things are on a tight schedule. Zelda Breath of the Wild just went gold this morning. And so that, you know, was still technically in production all this time. So perhaps their timeline is just a little different than than the expected timeline. Maybe. I mean, if they have a direct prior to March 3rd and they explain more stuff cool I'm very happy with that if they but, don't let's say they don't I mean that, I mean, it doesn't does matter it, does it matter though yeah no I don't think it does I'm just saying and I think be, that's the weird thing like I was saying like what what do they gain by getting this out there except placating sort of the most <laughs> hardcore being forum good searching your, reddit users I mean if, if being good to your customer base isn't something that's important to you then I guess but I, I feel like that's important yeah, I, I agree with you there. I think that um, clarity on some critical features would definitely be a consumer-friendly move. So uh, let's let's see what happens in the next couple of weeks. I think if we're coming up on, uh, you know, we can we can revisit this. Uh, either there will be a direct and we'll revisit this, or it'll be like March first <laughs> and there's no direct and we'll revisit this and be like, I mean, so, so, in a so day, here, so, what the heck is happening? <laughs> so here's the question: Like, what do you guys feel? I want I want to know more what the people feel. Do you? feel like at ease with how much you know about the switch and are you okay with not knowing these other things like are are you do you feel informed enough to make your your switch per, uh, purchase or to not make it like do you feel like there is a lack of information out here uh definitely let us know in the comments so i'm going to be reading those because I'm, I'm interested what other people think yeah for sure let us know and uh we will wait and see i guess for now i mean the critical features are known controllers games yeah, price, of course. Power. I mean, specs were a little bit of a mirage for a while, but they've become much clearer. Um, and I think that, you know, maybe they, they did invest a lot of effort in trying to bring the Switch, you know, to Pack South. They had some different days, and the, the system continues to go on tour in February uh, to get it in people's hands. And so 
to me, it seems like they are more of a show, don't tell, even though I fully understand that they need to tell about some of these features. Um, fine, don't tell us about them. Show them to us. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, too. They will show you after you buy it. Pay right. pay three hundred dollars and then you get to see it. No, uh, we'll find out more. Um, hopefully, you know. Hopefully, reviews are a thing, and uh, then there's there's some access, you know, regardless of direct or not. But I guess we'll find out in the coming weeks. Let us know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that subscribe button and s click the notification bell if you want to be ready for every video exactly when it comes out. And for myself and Gabe, thanks so much. Switch Force out.